What's up YouTube? So this morning when I came downstairs, I only saw three clownfish and my heart jumped. <laughs> I looked down on the floor and I saw one on my tile. He jumped out and died. And I intended to make a screen for this um, this weekend, but I just have the worst of luck and it jumped out before I could make my screen. So I feel like I'm responsible for the loss of his partner right there. <laughs> but anyways, um, today I'm making another screen so I don't lose any more clowns. Um, I went to Home Depot, I cut in to where I'm at. I went to the windows section and I picked up this 84 inch um, aluminum piece. Uh, I just need to measure it out and cut it to size. And it has, um, let me cut out and show. So this is the piece I'm looking at right here and it has the corner in there already. So I have to compensate for this square right here. I think it's like half an inch because I want it to fit flush so Let's see how it goes. What's up YouTube? I know I started out with a white um, aluminum piece, but I messed up in my measurements and then it came out to be too short. So I went back to Home Depot to get another piece and I realized that they had black aluminum um, pieces there also. So this time around I picked up black. So I've been working and cutting and let me show I you what I wanted to show you guys the pieces. I'm here with Payne and Christian. I wanted to show you guys the pieces. So this is the corner right here. So you're gonna get a long strip and you're gonna cut it to size. The strip is only three, four dollars for 84 inches. So um, don't be like me, just measure your what you need first and go and buy the right amount. But here's a strip I cut down and all you do is you slide it in to the corner piece and you're gonna do this for all four sides essentially making a window frame um, these things are used for um, window screens replacement window screens so we're just repurposing it to make a lid for the IM25 Lagoon so for mine uh, Here's the entire thing right here. What you do is on the back, I got this net from my friend um, Johnson. He had extra, so he gave it to me. But there's a rubber, rubber nylon piece. You also find it in the same area and I use this tool to push it into the groove but for my modifications I made this um, lid to fit almost exactly into the um, top of the lagoon with almost no gaps what I found was this glazers push points it's in Home Depot in the razor blades section I don't I actually don't know what they use it for, but I saw that it's a good um, little aluminum or steel piece that I could use to put on the edges of the of the corner. So what I did right here is I super glued it on the on the corner, so it would have something to kind of rest on on the aquarium. And I also cut out notches for my power heads so it all makes sense when um, I put it on and you guys see what's what's going on but to cut this notch I use a Dremel tool and I sanded it off it's not perfect but I made it a little wider so it wouldn't obstruct the wires or anything like that so let me cut out and I'll show you guys what hey I guys this is how the tank the lid is looking on the tank um, as you can see I measured it like to be flush with the entire top. So it's essential to have this um, 
piece right here that I got from the razor blade section so it would hold up. If you don't have this piece, your lid would just fall into the tank. But yeah, like check it out. I have it in each corner and it's just resting on the on the glass. And my notches. This is where I cut the notches for the power heads. The wires go into the tank. So I cut the notches here. I just need to clean it up and kind of paint this exposed um, aluminum. I have it on both sides right here also. But I'm pretty happy with this lid that I made so far. Um, if you look on YouTube, there's a lot of tutorials on how to do this. Uh, people use brackets from the bulk reef supply. They make it a little smaller and then the, the entire contraption hangs on the brackets and the brackets hang on the glass. But this is my twist to uh, making a screen for your lagoon. Let me know how you guys like this. And if you do, uh, give this video a thumbs up please. I'll appreciate that. It's unfortunate that um, I didn't create this lid in time. It probably could have saved a life. Because um, I was planning to build the lid, but um, I didn't have time to get around to it and the very next day the clown jumped out and he died. But yeah, I wish I, I built this before getting the fish. In hindsight, I should have built the lid before adding the fish, but then I didn't want to ruin the look and then I was trying to, I was being dumb and trying to get away with it without a lid and it only lasted a couple of days before my clown jumped out and died. So I feel really bad that that happened. So it's just bad judgment on my end. <laughs> so. I have this in now, no one's going to jump out moving forward and I suggest to you guys to consider putting a lid if you're putting fish into your IM25 lagoon. Well that's enough of me sobbing, I just want to thank you guys for supporting and as always have a great day. Bye.